Hi, everybody. Just wanted to come on for a moment because there's some things that have been um, unsettling to me. Now, Fi Babe, I've been following you for a while. I've been subscribed to you for a while. And though a lot of your content I appreciate, um, I also made a video to you um, telling you how much I appreciated uh, your sharing information about making uh, the YouTube channel better. Here's my issue. My issue is twice I've been in someone's chat and you have come in to the chat and um, your behavior has been something that I have not expected or have not seen you do. You come in, um, I think, blindly focused um, on someone feeling, oh, no, no, let me put this right. Um, blindly focused on a feeling that you're being attacked and sitting in that chat before you got into the chat. Um, and I'm speaking of Miss D. Ramsey. Yes, the conversation was something you uh, had gotten into or done or what have you, but it was not a negative chat. And you came in, and when you were asked a question um, for understanding, you went, you just jumped off the diving board into this attack mode, and you've been attacking D. Ramsey ever since. I'm seeing a pattern. You did the same thing with James Caldwell. I was in that chat when you came into James Caldwell. I also made comments in James Caldwell's chat and was not acknowledged. I understood that James Caldwell were doing, was doing several things in, uh, during his life. He was doing several things. And yes, um, like I said, I made comments, but my comments wasn't acknowledged, but it didn't affect me. It didn't hurt my feelings. I, I, I'm, I'm your aggression. And then to do this video tonight, what you did in that video was appalling. It was not becoming of your behavior of what I'm used to. Okay? The, uh, now, I appreciated the uh, live that you did with the gentleman uh, the other night. I appreciated that. However, tonight, you tore all of your work down. Because, yes, you did hint on um, homophobia, and that concerns me because, again, it seems to be a pattern. You know, it also seems that, you know, you want to attack these people. I don't know if it's to get recognition or what have you, but, girl, you're good. You're captivating. You're talented. Let your work speak for you. I was very offended by your late, uh, by your behavior lately. Very offended. And I'm sure that is not what you want to do. And you know Bible. Where you offend the least of mine, you've done it unto me. Now, I suggest that you go back to your first love because there seems to be a parting of the ways. You got to the fork in the road and instead of going right, you went left. Instead of going forward, you went back. I, 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 I'm not sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it. And this is not an attack. It is not an attack, it's an observation. It is an observation. And yes, I can be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. However, the things you said in that video were appalling. 
they were really appalling. And it really offended me. Because here it is, you know, you, you, you have spoken about being a prophetess. However, in my experience, so often, I am guided by the same prophecy. I can see things before they come upon me and I can move out of the way. And then when, when, when I'm, I'm focused in the wrong direction, there are f red flags that go up to let me know that uh, I need to take heed to where I am and where I'm supposed to be. I really enjoy you. However, as of late, maybe that's the course that you want to take. And if so, I accept that. And believe me, warning always comes before destruction. And I frankly don't want to see you end up being the very type of individual that you are fighting against. I wish you nothing but the best and I wish you much love.